Good morning. Oh, guys, I'm really tired. Um, yeah, th this last attack just really uh, berated me, you know. It's really hammered me. Everything just happened at once. Oh my god. And now you see the security guard down the bottom of the um, mountain here, which is a portal. This mountain, guys, this mountain, this cat mountain. <laughs> we'll go back up to the cat statue. <clears throat> I've only been up there once. <laughs> How lazy of me. <laughs> I've only been up to that statue once. I've been on the mountain, you know, in other places though, I guess. And i still got to show you guys the footage from the top of the mountain, which I think I might publish straight away now after this. Um, got a few good videos up the top of the mountain. Um, thanks for putting me on the top of the mountain right now. Uh, this is very important to, to lift me. Um, not because I want to be soaring like an eagle because it feels good. Because, <clears throat> rather, you know, I need to be up there to, I don't know, exact change or something, you know. I think we all know by now. What I can do, you know, what idiots who are in you know, high positions are doing. So I think we all know now that it's important to you know, lift the right people, and I definitely don't want to be lifted just for the hell of it. You know, I think, you know, most of you are aware of, you know, how famous people and stuff like that, they go a bit crazy under the pressure of the, the masses and so on and so forth. Well, you know, I'm no exception. What happens is the NPCs come, you know, the Matrix AI comes through them, it fucks with you it finds a way you know it prods you from every angle it knows you it knows how to test you and how to poke you so i'm not so arrogant that i just want to be lifted you know for money or i don't know for fame or something like that i'm not that stupid i'm not that arrogant etc <clears throat> you know i really i don't it's like you know you don't even want to go there um but what else is there for me to do? The, I'm not going to go cleaning toilets, you know what I mean? It, it's like, if you're a concrescence, you know, you, you rightfully need to be there, it's just your position. If you're a mental concrescence, you need to be affecting many people, so it means, you know, you need to be in a position where many people can hear you, so I do need to be lifted. Uh, and thanks guys for that. I'm so tired man, this last attack has just smashed me. Do you see the two storms? Two storms just took this tent apart. <laughs> and you're going to see a video called the, the Matrix uh, Simulation renders your local environment so you're handleable. <clears throat> Pardon me. So that it can handle you. And I don't even think I can call the, the boss of this security guard at the bottom of the mountain, or demon, guarding the sacred mountain. Oh yeah, you've seen her. She's huge. Riding the motorbike, she just reminds me of that idiot from Camping Marindia as well. And just straight up lies to my face. Oh no, there's no problem that you walk the road. <laughs> I'll report you twice to the camping so you have problems. What a fucking idiot, man. And, you know, now I'm going to be living on the mountain, walking past her, like, all the time. I know she has a lunch break at one o'clock, so I can get out in the middle of the day, the morning before she's there and at night, right? This is going to have to be my schedule. So I'm not going to be freely moving because she's just, she'll obviously end up calling the police. It'll be too much trouble. I've got to try and avoid it as much as possible, obviously. Because the more that they're up there, eventually they'll, you know, question me and identify me and stuff. It's going to be difficult. But, guys, this mountain is a massive portal. And I just got word yesterday 
this is all really good timing i'm just so glad that this is happening quickly these days thank you thank you thank you thank you guys so much because this is what i need on this ne next leg of the journey i'm just about finished the organic portal handbook smashing it over because you guys are donated at the right times um, I've needed a higher rate of donation in the last few months so I can <clears throat> pay the computer laboratory fee. <clears throat> have to pay $2 an hour, roughly $2 an hour, $2.50. So it's expensive. <laughs> but, you know, I'm a really quick typer, so in that hour I'm getting quite a lot done. And this is the only reason that this book's going to be kept cheap, because you guys have crowdfunded it. And so I promise to keep the price down. Otherwise, you know, it would be expensive as. However, I really like, you know, need to put a decent price on it. I don't want to give it away for $9.99. It's not just a regular book. You know what I mean? I can't give it that. It needs its rightful emphasis, just like I'm talking about. Maybe that's what this video is on, something about rightful movement or something. Yeah, I don't know. Um... You know, to make things bearable. Let's call it that. Not not to create a new world. You know, not to make, I don't know, heaven on earth. Or new new age. Or, um, I don't know, make this place good. But just to make it bearable, we're going to need to work really hard. <clears throat> and we're going to need to work together. And we're going to see that more and more. And this is beyond any one of us. You know, so to you know have a have a place that's bearable to even live in, we definitely got to take out these demons because they're the ones that are in a position where their life is bearable, and they're the demons. It's not right. And I do th I do see, you know, if we can work together, that we can uh, go at this. I'm not very hopeful though. I'll tell you what, I'm not very hopeful. But, you know, if we work together, we can go at it. We can try at least, and uh, you never know. Uh, anyway, let's do some spins of the wheel. Especially since Lucky Watches, who are you? <laughs> Especially since Lucky Watches has donated. <clears throat> Just the name, Lucky. Let's go to the Lucky Prize wheel in a second. Um, yeah, so it's interesting that this mountain is a portal and you know the situation has orchestrated itself so I'm going to be living on there um, this money is going to go towards a new tent mostly so I don't know I may have to do no, I may have to do another donation around soon unfortunately I hate you know stopping the channel because every time I lose a subscriber or two or several subscribers it'd be a lot better for the channel if if you guys donate like as quick as possible because I seem to lose subscribers when it takes a long time I don't know why maybe they're new they don't understand that this is what we do on the channel crowdfunding maybe they're organic portals and they're just super jealous that's what I think it is because what's the why would you unsubscribe if I'm asking for um, donations or money because it means the channel's going to be more sustainable. Which means you've got more reason to subscribe. So that, illog that illogical nature tells me it's organic portals who every time unsubscribe. But nevertheless, you know, we kind of need the filler people for just the filler views. Right? And the filler like button presses and this and that. They're filler people. So we really kind of need them at this point. I don't want them here, but, you know, kind of need them. It would be helpful probably better that better with them I can always block them <laughs> anyway um, yeah this mountain is a crazy portal and I just found out yesterday because I was under a, a different guise that uh, I can enter Brazil without a visa guys I'm in the journey will be beginning probably sooner rather than later that's correct. I found out I can just enter Brazil and I'm automatically a tourist. I no longer need a visa. Since 2019, you'll see a video Australian, uh, uh, sorry, Brazil free for all because Bella, uh, one of my new Brazilian friends, 
who's a streamer from SOS, State of Survival. Isabella, or Bella, she has told me that since 2019, uh, USA, Canada, Australian and Japan people do not need a visa to enter Brazil, so I'm there. It's on, because Uruguay's a shitbox. I'm going to make so many more videos, I fucking hate these people, man. Communist idiots. It may, this place almost killed me, Uruguay's almost fucking killed me. And I'm strong, but, you know, even that, that Veronica bitch that I came here to be with, I've got a hundred videos coming on her. <clears throat> anyway, let's go spin the wheel. Here's something for you if you don't know it. Thanks, Paul, who was telling me this about the court system. This is more on how I can't contact the lady. Look how there's no contact details. I wrote in contacto. <laughs> now on her little booth, you're gonna see in that video I mentioned earlier that, um, so there's the bull statue. There's a cat above it, which is interesting. So that, I'm obviously the cat and you're gonna see these people at this camping ground, Cerro del Toro, the guy is literally the bull. You'll see his wide frame. And I'm telling you now, and his name's Julio, the groundskeeper. He just kept giving me problems. He's literally the bull, but it's interesting the statue of the bull is below the cat. <laughs> On the mountain, like physically. Yeah, anyway, look, no, no friggin' contact numbers. And you're going to see in the video, Matrix renders the local environment so you're handleable. That there's two scratched out numbers on the little security booth and then what I think is her number pasted on a piece of paper. Just like she's made herself the, the authority and you can't like contact her boss. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening down there. So I have a feeling I'm gonna end up in the police at one point and I would really, really like uh, the spy camera at this point, guys. I mean, every time I need this spy camera, it's been a, a feeling before the you know the situations would happen and i can feel it again i mean i could capture some serious footage anyway um we're going to do a donation round on that soon um because you'll see a video on that but let's go to the prize wheel here let's see what we got oh who did we have here we had 50 100 50 100 um all right let's do fred because Fred is donating again. Thanks, Fred. <clears throat> Fred also passed me a Masonic playbook. So I'll upload that as a video soon too. I've got to upload so many videos now, guys. I've just Every time I do donation rounds for the last two years, I've fell behind my, my posting schedule, like energetically. So I've just got to go ahead and go for it now. And you can watch the videos later if you can't watch them that day. Sorry everyone, has to happen, the videos have to go up. Alright, let's, uh, let's see here, all filled out. Still got one position, there's only nine points, so if anyone's got an idea of another thing I can put on this uh, prize wheel, let me know. There's the entries so far. God, I'm just being bitten to death by mossies at the moment because it rained for a week. Okay. <clears throat> Mozzies just don't leave me alone. It's definitely the resonance of the Amazon jungle uh, beginning to rear its head. <laughs> Alright, let's go for Fred. Oh wait, no, this doesn't count. We didn't have sound. Doesn't count, doesn't count. Damn it. I wish it counted. <laughs> didn't have sound, sorry. So here we go, first one for Fred. Eat lemon, eat lemon. Damn it. <laughs> right, yo, we have a $30 bandit video for you, Fred. And we're going again for Fred. Oh, a satsang.
<clears throat> How appropriate. <laughs> A bit of orange juice in the morning. Oh. <clears throat> Pardon me. Mm -mm. Okay, so a satsang. A session of high truth and high quality. High truth time, eh? Perfect for up on the mountain. So that will be coming when I'm out there on the mountain, obviously. <clears throat> I'll have to create a new playlist. Thank you, Fred for supporting the channel. Uh, now, who did we have? Joe, Joe Ritchie. Hey, thanks, Joe. Um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and go. I, I got your uh, message on YouTube, by the way. I replied. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, let's go for Joe Ritchie. Come on, eat lemon. Yes! <laughs> right, I'll be eating a lemon. A whole lemon. <laughs> With close-up camera in my, in my face. <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm glad it landed on this because it's easy, obviously, but the main thing is it's actually healthy. So, you know, I want to force myself eating a lemon. Um, I might even put garlic in here for the same reason. I mean, it's enjoyable for some people to watch. People enjoy that sort of thing. You know, it's in mukbang, ASMR sort of categories. Um, and there's a lot of eating videos on YouTube. But yeah, eating a whole lemon is very healthy, right? And we can even talk about it <clears throat> in the video. <sighs> um, yeah, so I know I'm just, I'm kind of happy about that because it's obviously fairly easy. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's going to be adding to my health. It's like sometimes you need to force yourself, you know, to eat the healthy food because it is so easy to get lower and lower in vibration because this is a falling matrix. So it's super, it's, you know, very full of merit and, um, you know, the higher path to go up and it, you need to force yourself sometimes. Um, but because it's so simple, let's do another one for Joe. <clears throat> no. <laughs> <laughs> No way. Epic. Damn it, two lemons. Now I'm getting myself into trouble. <laughs> oh, man. That's interesting. <laughs> Did I beckon that or what? No way. All right, I'm going to be eating two lemons for Joe Ritchie. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Oh, I can't believe that. All right, and then we have Lucky Watches. <laughs> Let's see what you get, Lucky Watches. Um, <clears throat> lucky Watches, hold on. <clears throat> lucky Watches, um, if you had donated $11 more, I would have given you a health consultation. I'm, I'm thinking I should anyway. I don't know if you want the wheel or a health consultation. But I do have a cut. Let's do health consultation for you anyway. Stuff the extra eleven dollars. A hundred is fine. Um, so I'm not going to spin the wheel for you, Lucky Watchers. I'm going to give you a full health consultation, um, which is my basic health consultation for one hundred and eleven US dollars. And you donated one hundred, so that's good enough for me. Um, so, you know, we've already spun the wheel several times and I'm behind on wheel spin uh, videos. So not just these two, I still have to make like another four. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a uh, full health consultation. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much.